Hey there everybody, welcome to Tuck Tuck's Trinkets and Terrain. My name is David and if you've been watching my videos for a little bit, you'll know that I made the circus tent from the uh, Wild Beyond the Witchlight Adventure. Uh, and I mentioned in that video that I wanted to make the interior of it, uh, so that's what I did for this week's video. Um, they stack on top of each other, so the interior is playable. You can have both down and reveal the top, uh, which I think is a super cool sort of reveal uh, when you're playing Dungeons and Dragons or something similar. Um, it's a pretty easy build. I uh, didn't get too complicated with it, but I think the effect, like I said, is pretty cool. So I'm going to show you what I did and how I did it, and I hope you enjoy. To start things off, I grabbed my circus tent that I made a few videos back and used that to trace out a base onto some chipboard. Uh, you can see I've also used it to mark where the posts go. But my chipboard was already warped, so to help alleviate that, um, I hot glued it to the back of a old cookie sheet. I've done this before to pretty good effect. Uh, essentially, this keeps the board flat while the paint and glue and whatnot dries. Uh, so basically, I just keep this on here the entirety of the project to uh, keep it all flat. I then cut out a bunch of wood planks using some XPS foam scraps and just textured it with a little wire brush to give it that nice wood grain. These will end up being the sort of stands. You can see I've marked out on the base as well as the the border of the sort of uh, the stage area where like the shows would take place. So I'm just going to glue all these down with some tacky glue. Just gluing down the supports as well as the sort of middle step right now. Um, I plan to glue on the tops of the stands later just to make it easier to paint and do everything below those. I then glued on the planks that create the circle of the little stage area. I intentionally kept this pretty rough, uh, imagining that these wood planks are stored and then just tossed out to sort of create a barrier so that people don't wander in where they're not supposed to be. I then painted up all of the foam with some black paint and Mod Podge. I base coated it with a brown and then did a overbrush with sort of a dark orange. Hit everything with a black wash to bring out all the nice detail and then hit everything with a light gray dry brush to age up the wood a little bit. I then wanted to make sort of a backstop for the stage area so I glued a bunch of popsicle sticks together, painted them up exactly the same way as the rest of the lumber and then I'm just gonna use the same colors that I did on the outside of the tent, the yellow, red, and sort of light blue. I just freehanded design again just imagining that this big slat of wood was just hand painted by the circus performers into something interesting looking using the paints they had on hand. I ended up going for a sort of a sun design in the middle with just some basically stripes around it. Nothing too imaginative here, I just wanted to add a bunch of bright colors that match the outside of the tent to bring the two pieces together and add some cohesiveness. I uh, intentionally painted this uh, pretty rough, didn't go for full coverage. Um, again, this sort of backdrop would be hand painted by the people who work the surface, so I intentionally kept it rough. I also didn't do any like washing or weathering or anything like that. Thinking that this is touched up occasionally, you know, fresh paint is added before each show, things like that. So it looks pretty rough, but I think it matches what I was going for. I then glued on a bunch of these star sequins that I had. I glued a few of these on the outside of the tent. Uh, so I just added these to the edges to, again, just add some more interest, a little bit more color. And then hot glued this down on the back of my stage area. You can see where I've marked down where I want it to go roughly. And then cut out a few more pieces of lumber to act as some supports for the backside. This also helps strengthen the whole thing as it was a bit wobbly. I then wanted to add some texture to all of the dirt and ground. So just splotched on some PVA glue in a few areas and sprinkled on some sand. And then once that was dry, I painted the, the entirety of the base um, just with a brown. While I'm doing that, just want to remind you to hit the subscribe button if you're enjoying the video. I post crafting videos every other Friday, so keep an eye out for those. And then remember to hit the like button, leave a comment, and try this with your friends if you think they'd enjoy it as well. Every little bit helps, and I do appreciate it. Once the brown base coat was all dry, I did a pretty heavy dry brush with a tan to lighten all up, bring out all the texture of the chipboard as well as the sand that I added. I then wanted to add a little bit of flocking. Um, I imagine when this tent is set up, it's set up, you know, 
in an empty field with grasses and everything. Uh, but over time, you know, with more people walking in, shows happening and whatnot, the grass is eventually, you know, trampled, stepped on, uh, and eventually is cleared away to just the dirt below. Um, but in the areas where there's less traffic, like underneath the bleachers, I wanted to add some fresh uh, live grass. So just using some PVA glue, sprinkled on some green grass in those areas. And then just in a few other random areas, I added this yellower sort of dry dead grass uh, to break up the ground and add a little bit more visual interest to the whole piece. I then painted up the tops of my little bleachers using those planks that I cut earlier, glued those into place, and that is all done. So here's the tent, and you can see I've got the lights on with the show inside, and lifts up, revealing the interior. Really like the idea of the sort of playable interior buildings that are two separate pieces, so you can use them uh, together at the same time. You see I've set up a little backstage here as well, behind the stage area. This is a super simple build, uh, but again, I think it adds a lot of utility to my circus tent. I do have an Instagram account if you want to check that out. I post in-progress pictures as well as other projects that I've got going on. Uh, I also have an Etsy shop where you can pick up dungeon tiles and accessories, pieces for your games, as well as a few other sort of gift ideas. Both of those links can be found in the description below. Don't forget to subscribe, check out future videos. Thanks for stopping by. Hope to see you next time.